Hey guys, this is Xalion here, bringing another narrated Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Today I have an NU match versus Gyro Dragon, and I think this was a pretty darn good game for me. So he leads off with that Venomoth and sleeps my lead, which is a Dunsparce, because Dunsparces are pro. Anyone who thinks otherwise hates me. So I guess um, I guess anyone who doesn't think Dunsparce is awesome just hates me. So I sent in my Fion because I wanted that sleep fodder Dunsparce, and I wanted my Fion to start setting up and sweeping. So unfortunately, unlike its older brother, Manaphy, Fion does not possess that awesome tail glow, um, which is probably what keeps it out of UU, but that does not make it... Well, it makes it a little bit less dangerous, but it's still very, very dangerous because it has hydration, uh, like Manaphy, which means as long as I have this rain going, I have dual stab coming off of a very nice special attack stat, and um, and I'm immune to all status, pretty much. Also, I have rest, which means I have full recovery with no drawbacks. So I think that is pretty darn nice. So I'm going to start off a little Fion sweep here all up in this joint by killing off that Venomoth. I don't know what item it hol was holding. Obviously not a Focus Sash. And then the Soul Rock, and now this pitiful Typhlosion. Well, this Typhlosion was able to do some damage to my Fion, which is more than um, any of the other Pokemon previous to this have been able to say. Um, but it dies just the same. Well, you don't really die in Pokemon, do you? You always just get kind of knocked out. The other Pokemon fainted, it always says. And then they're fine after the battle. I wonder what battles would be like if your Pokemon died every single time they got beaten. I mean, you'd have to go out and catch and train new Pokemon every single time. It'd be like, lol, what? Oh, I just lost my, uh, I, I just lost my most powerful Pokemon, my starter. And now I'm gonna have to go and get another one. Oh, joys. So yeah, back on topic, um, Ninetales comes out and I switch out because um, I didn't want to stay in anymore. And I uh, send in my Torkoal because I want to get rid of the Toxic Spikes. And, um, well, at this point, I'm kind of afraid of this Ninetales, and I don't want to hit it with Overheat, which is one of my two offensive moves, because Overheat would give it a boost. So I think I'm just going to have to go with my other offensive move. But unfortunately, that happens to be... Wait, how is this unfortunate? Explosion is awesome. Like... It is awesomeness incarnate. If you got, you guys have all heard that that clip of WTF boom, and that's that's always nice to listen to when you're when you're watching a when you're watching a video on YouTube and you just get trolled by that WTF boom. So I still have the rain up, and I send in my Relocanth because I want to uh, finish off the rest of his team with my dual stab Aqua Tail. This Relocanth is Choice Banded, and you know it's awesome like that. Choice Banded Relocanth is just win, as I'm sure you're all quite aware of. Also, anyone who hates Relocanth or Dunsparce hates me. Like I'm just gonna tell you that straight up. If any of you don't like Relocanth or Dunsparce, you hate me. So this Charizard obviously doesn't have anything to hit me with uh, for one hit killing me like Hidden Power Grass. So this is a uh, GG right here and I win this game with a nifty little 5-0. This is one of several matches we did and Jared Dragon said he'd be posting uh, another one of them. So I'll post the link in the description to his channel. Go check him out. Later.